Hello. Well, I, I'm feeling a little rough this week. It's been a week. It's been a couple weeks, but I'm 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 trying to pick the energy level up for you because you're important to me, and I want you to have all the startupy type news that's been happening in the Portland area and elsewhere. There's a there's kind of a, a global story to start out with that that is the big big story, but I'm also going to touch on. You know, the Oregon UAS drone accelerator that's got a global footprint. Going to talk about the uh, Beaverton Startup Challenge, folks. And uh, I'll also reveal some of the people who won the uh, Clackamas County pitch from Ty, Oregon. But the uh, big, big story this week is uh, Blue Sky. Blue Sky is, is having a moment and uh, it is really making me quite nostalgic for the early, early days of Twitter around Portland. Like Portland really glommed on to Twitter back in the day and, uh, you know, really brought the community together. I, I have to reveal that, you know, I joined Twitter in March of 2007 and it was in fact part of the inspiration for me to start Silicon Florist, which of course then led to you having to watch me read Silicon Florist to you. But the, the point being, uh, Twitter, that activity, that camaraderie, that community was inspirational to me and and drove me to, to start Silicon Florist, all by way of saying Blue Sky has some of that same feel. Now, Blue Sky, of course, came out of the Twitter crew, designed to be a more open and and really like non-commercial version of Twitter. And for the longest time, it's just kind of been, you know, chunking along, doing OK, growing, growing incrementally. And then, you know, things happen politically. People purchased products and companies that were public and, and took them private and, and all kinds of things happened. And uh, Blue Sky has kind of become this just this this bastion for people to uh, reinvent their social media experience. So all by way of being said, if you are in Portland, please jump on Blue Sky. It would be good to see you there. If you are elsewhere, please jump on Blue Sky. It would be good to see you there. I will do a few things for you. So you're like, kind of like, well, starting a new social network, so hard, starting a new account. I get it. And Blue Sky gets it. That's why they've created these things called starter packs, which allow people, kind of like lists on Twitter used to be. I mean, they have lists on Blue Sky. But the starter pack is really designed to help you say, I'm interested in this subject matter. Who should I be following? immediately to like get engaged in this particular subject matter. And so there are a bunch of starter packs. If you're not in Portland, I will link up basically this starter pack search engine that'll allow you to search through everything and figure stuff out, get you ramped up on Blue Sky. If you're in Portland, I will share a few Portland specific startup specific Portland starter pack kind of things that you can use to jumpstart your Blue Sky activity. And then, of course, quite selfishly, I am on I am on the Blue Sky. Silicon Florist is on the Blue Sky. So uh, I, 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 I may share those links as well. Yes, I, I may be I may be kind of like looking for for follows but you know it's all it's all in the name of getting you more connected and well informed so if you're interested if you've been on blue sky for a while and you're like i kind of need to reacclimate, or if you've never tried blue sky before now is a good time to do it i've been on there for a while but i've i've redoubled my efforts on blue sky and i've really tried to embrace the early Twitter vibe where I would honestly largely just post stupid shit that popped in my head. But uh, that's where I'm going with it. You'll get Portland news. You'll get other things. You'll get random thoughts from me. You'll get what I'm eating for lunch. I don't know, but I would just love to see you on there. So please jump on the blue sky. Follow me. 
I'll try and follow you. It'll all be good. And and let's see, let's see where we go from there. It might be a it might be a good way for us to kind of reinvigorate Portland, reinvigorate the Portland startup community, and have a spot that we can all kind of hang out and and have fun with social media. Again, independent of crazy algorithms and such. Cool, cool. I'll see you on Blue Sky. Next up, our friends at the Oregon Startup Center have announced the companies they've selected for the Beaverton Startup Challenge 2025. Beaverton Startup Challenge is an accelerator cohort that they receive some funding, they receive space, they receive mentorship, uh, all kind of like focused on helping these startups hang out in Beaverton, be part of the Beaverton startup community and, uh, and, uh, really propel their companies forward. I, I, I'm a huge fan of Beaverton. Like it's been a kind of quiet for a while, like just the community have been kind of quiet, you know, for the longest time. And now all of a sudden they're just like, Beaverton's got some momentum and it's got great restaurants, great community, has the Oregon Startup Center. So these are the folks, three companies that will be part of the Beaverton Startup Challenge this year. <laughs> Not this year. <laughs> 2024 is over, basically. They will be they will be part of, of the Beaverton Startup Challenge 2025. Those companies are Align ICP. <laughs> which for me, I just, I'm juvenile. I have a hard time keeping a straight face when I say ICP. <laughs> it just, yeah, kind of takes me into that whole Matt Groening Simpsons IP freely joke, whatever. So, uh, <laughs> no, no disrespect, just ICP. I, again, I'm a child, uh, align ICP. Uh, Deo, which you may have seen win a few different places. Uh, they've been in competitions. They've been recognized. Deo is, is one of those tools focused on helping you better manage your social media time. I, I'm laughing because I already recorded the social media part. So I'm suddenly thinking, well, if you jump on Blue Sky and you're liking it way too much and you're spending too much time there, then maybe you should try Deo and they can help you wean wean your use of Blue Sky or whatever other online social media thingamajig you are spending too much time on. Deo is designed to reward you for not spending as much time on those things by giving you deals with brands and, and people and things and stuff. So uh, that's what Deo is working on. Again, a couple serial founders there, well-recognized, uh, not surprised to see them selected at all. And then the final one is Pacmoto. Pacmoto, Pitch Black alum, uh, former Nike folks. Pacmoto is really kind of a system for backpacks where you you have a kind of a harness. Like I, I think when I, I think when I did Pacmoto before, I was actually wearing a backpack, like what I was describing there. Uh, their Kickstarter, but uh, it's basically so like the straps and and kind of the the part that holds the pack is one piece, and then you can trade out like larger storage containers on top of that harness. So really designed to help you not waste as much material and things and stuff, and have you have a multifunction harness for various sizes of packs. If you're going on a long trip, short trip, day trip, any of those things, Pacmoto is designed to be the kind of functional system to help you do that stuff. And they, they are now part of the Beaverton Startup Challenge, which is super interesting because Pitch Black was held at the Racer in Beaverton when Pacmoto was on stage. So it just, it all kind of, kind of comes around. You know, I don't know how you wound up here. I'm glad you're here. Don't get me wrong, but uh, if you'd like to tune in and, and kind of keep track of the news, I provide week to week about startups here in the Portland area and sometimes elsewhere. Just uh, please subscribe. Next up, speaking of accelerator programs, 
Oregon UAS Accelerator, the Oregon Unmanned Aerial Systems Accelerator, or if you're if you're kind of simple like me, drones. They do drones and things around drones, unmanned aerial, unpeopled aerial system drone things. If you're working on a startup that is a drone, has a drone, operates things that have to do with drones. Take a look at Oregon UAS Accelerator. Great program. I've had the opportunity recently to spend time with folks from Oregon UAS. Super impressed with what they're doing. Uh, it's global. So, hey, you don't have to be in Oregon to participate. You have to come visit us and hang out for a few months to participate. But you get funding, you get mentorship, you get a demo day. Last time that demo day happened during the Pendleton Roundup, and that's pretty exciting stuff too. So, if you are focused on drone stuff, I don't care where you are in the world. I don't care where you're watching this. If you're working on drone stuff, take a look at the Oregon UAS Accelerator Program to help your startup. They have a huge range out there, flight paths, all kinds of testing facility, great mentorship. It's really a really compelling and promising program. So they've only done one class, uh, but that first class, super impressive and if you are working on drone stuff and want that kind of support need that mentorship want peers want to get connected in the industry please check out oregon uas i think the applications are due in january but look it's going to be december before you know it and then it's going to be january so just get to work on your application maybe even just submit it and and get that in and get that done and then wait patiently for you to be selected so that you can you can hang out in Pendleton, Oregon, and with the drones and your your drone startup friend people and things and stuff. Cool? Cool. All right, Beaverton Startup Challenge was competition, compete to get into the accelerator. Oregon UAS will be competitive to get into the accelerator. And pitch competitions are competitive for startup founders. Our friends at Thai Oregon this year, instead of doing the big monolith kind of pitch Oregon thing, they said, hey, why don't we divvy it up around the metro area in Portland by giving each county, as well as our friends in, in Washington and in Clark County, a chance to like pitch companies that are occurring in specific geographic regions. So they had the, the West Side pitch competition, which is our friends in Washington County. They had the Columbia pitch, maybe Columbia River. Sorry if I'm getting the name wrong. <laughs> I'm getting old. There is the Columbia River right there. So either way, it's right. But it might have been the Columbia pitch competition, which occurred in Vancouver, took Multnomah County and Clark County startups were participating in that pitch competition. And then completing the trifecta this week was Clackamas County pitch competition, which, which incorporates all four major counties in the Portland metro region. This is hot off the press, so I can't even remember exactly who won, so I'm going to read it to you because I want you to know who won and, and who took home the prizes. $25,000, best overall, care space. $10,000, cash, first runner-up. And $3,000 worth of legal services was Alpha Speech, and the audience choice fan favorite, fan favorite be, being appropriate, Fan Wagon. Uh, fan Wagon, you may have seen around, like they've won Demolicious before. They'll be on stage December 10th at the Mission Theater, defending their title and hoping to win the Champion of Champions Demolicious thingamajig year end big belt winning thing. Kind of like the Jake Paul and Mike Tyson thing, but it's actually a competition. Um, <laughs> he, the Fan Wagon folks, uh, a huge fan, and uh, they are really providing gently used secondhand fan wear. So like jerseys and, and, and team paraphernalia from the professional sporting world. 
they kind of help they they create a marketplace for that kind of thing so you're like i yeah i used to love manchester united and now i don't uh, now i'm now i'm more like arsenal i don't know but anyway you have the stuff <laughs> and you're like i don't this doesn't fit i don't want to wear it i don't want to throw it away whatever that's what fan wagon is there to help you connect those dots and find the people who want the things that you have to sell for so you don't throw it away so that's that's all fan wagon and congratulations to everybody who applied to clackamas county pitch congratulations to all of those startups that took the stage and of course congratulations to the people who walked away with the prizes okay if you're in the united states this is the week before thanksgiving so news is starting to quiet down a little bit obviously a lot of stuff going on this week next week may get kind of quiet i don't have a turkey tracker to talk about no turkey tracker so i will find some way to provide interesting news and information to you next week but there won't be anything about the turkey tracker i don't think so if you're even wondering what the turkey tracker is <laughs> never mind it just used to be this thing i used to be obsessed with way back in the day on silicon floors anyway uh, uh if things are quieting down for you be you in a be you be you in a be you in a startup or something else uh i sincerely hope you get some downtime over the the thanksgiving holiday i i hope you get to rest up to you know to just power you through the rest of the year if you're among all of my amazing friends in the consumer products world and you're in the thick of market season be that be that my people's market which occurs this weekend go to that my people's market is great or or this the 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 night markets or the holiday markets or the the festival of the last minute or whatever you're doing please hang in there and uh and i hope your sales go well if you aren't in consumer products please go shop at those markets that's really rough it's a lot of stuff for people to do please show up be a good patron support the companies consumer products companies here in the community again my people's market is this weekend so get on in there and buy some cool stuff because there are tons of awesome founders and amazing products at my people's market uh so go do that and uh you know over in the next week just take a deep breath take some time I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful you're here. And I want you to take the time to just appreciate all the things you should be thankful for in your life. Okay, cool. Enough of that. <laughs> it's good to see you. Glad you were here. Please hang in there. And until we get the chance to chat again, please keep up the good work.